Hi, everyone, and welcome to JSA TV and JSA Podcasts, where we're covering the latest stories, trends, and innovation from leaders in global connectivity, real estate, and the networks within. I'm Barb Mitchell here joining you today from JSA and I have a special guest with me here, uh, Hannah Hare of Trangistics. Hannah, so nice to have you. Thank you, Barb. Yeah. I'm happy to be here. Yeah. This is actually my first PTC and had a crazy journey coming in with the uh, snow and freezing rain, but we made it and could not be more excited to be here in paradise with you. Amazing. Yeah, <laughs> we're excited. It's it's already been such a, it's, you know, we're not even halfway through and the show's been so, so great and so successful. Um, you know, what are you looking forward to most? It's your first PTC. What, what are you most looking forward to? I'm just excited to be here and be networking with some of the biggest people in this space and everyone is just so knowledgeable and just excited to learn and like just really jump into this space with my position in this company and yeah, yeah really thrilled to be here and um, get to see all of you in person, yeah, our amazing. JSA family. <laughs> yeah, amazing. And so, well, let's jump right into it then. Tell us a little bit about Trangistics, if you don't mind. Yes, of course. So Trangistics, we are a logistics service provider. We've been around about 20 years. Um, we recently, in the last 10 years, added another arm of the business, which is this managed transportation side. And um, that includes things such as not just the transportation, but also services like um, managing inventory, warehousing, um, managing laydown space, and getting and coordinating everything efficiently um, for our clients on these high-tech construction projects. So some of our areas that we're in are semiconductor fabrication plant builds, um, data centers, of course, and also other high-tech construction. Um, so those are the types of projects that we're on, really big, large-scale, multi-year projects. And mm -hmm. so we really provide a service um, to, to our partners and people that hire us. And yeah, so really it's materials handling and storage and logistics and um, all that that entails. Yeah, amazing. And so when you talk about specialties around things like transportation, mm -hmm. transportation and warehousing, I know that you mm -hmm. also, you're able to really specialize and, and customize your solutions to meet the needs of, mm -hmm. of some of your, your customers. Mm -hmm. And so specifically, mm -hmm. when you're thinking about high tech construction projects, how are you tailoring mm -hmm. your solutions mm -hmm. for them? Definitely. Yeah. As we all know, they're so complex, some of the most complex projects in the world. And so we work with all of our um, our clients and really determine the scope of what is needed and whatever that may be. We leverage all of the latest technologies in warehouse management systems, in security to really provide um, what is needed because a lot of these materials are very, very expensive and you need to be protected and don't want to damage them in transportation, for example. So we are the experts. You hire us to be the experts and we handle all of that so that material doesn't get lost, damaged, um, gets to the job site on time and there's many different players hundreds some, sometimes thousands of people on a job site in one day yeah. and so it's so much to manage and so having a logistics service provider um, handling all of the headaches and logistics really allows um, and frees up stakeholders time to focus on other things because we're handling all the headaches on the ground and providing that peace of mind. Right. Yeah. So, I mean, a lot of different things can come up. You've, you've named, mm -hmm. you know, several and, and how the uh, solutions provider, the logistics solutions provider, like yourselves, you can really solve for, for a lot of that. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. Are there specific solutions that you would want to highlight? Yeah, yeah, definitely. And then also some of the challenges too. Let me speak to the challenges as well. Sure. So the main challenges we see that our clients come to us with are those supply chain delays, um, costs related to supply chain delays, and then schedule and um, predictability issues that lead to delays on the project, which are very costly. So um, the, we know that the you will save more money by having your materials on site or nearby at a nearby warehouse than not having them at all due to the supply chain. So it's better to store it um, nearby. And, and that's how we're able to help with some of the cost savings along with our partnerships with different um, transportation partners and being in the business for as long as we have. We're actually able to save clients money um, through our transportation partnerships. And yeah, some of the other solutions are, yeah, those reduced shipping costs, um, efficiency and project management, being the liaison between um, everyone on the job site and project, and 
also just having all of the flexibility. Um, we we pride ourselves on being very flexible, very nimble, and able to tailor solutions based on to what the customer needs. And really, just as much or as little as they need, um, we can tailor that. You know, in the SLA and have that constantly be adjusted based on logistics needs. Right. I mean, everyone wants to save money and simplify the process, right? Mm -hmm. So, I mean, <laughs> you're already adding value there, but can you give us an example of um, how you may simplify the overall process? For your customers? Yeah, yeah. I'd love to give a specific example of our process. So we've done and are doing work on some semiconductor um, fab builds, some of the biggest in North America, if not the biggest. And so an example of our process and how we tailor it to our clients is um, we were working with um, a GC, a general contractor that has Taiwanese operations, Taiwanese staff. And so at the onset of the project, we chose to bring in um, a professional with 27 years of experience in um, Taiwanese culture, um, fluent in Mandarin. And so we brought him on as part of the team and he really was able to help facilitate that communication between um, working with the group and the cross-cultural um, communication and just really be such a strong partner for us um, so that we were all on the same page starting at the beginning of the project um, with the scope and all of that that provides. So that's just an example of how we will custom build and a team for exactly what you need based on the project and we like I said we're very flexible and can um, work with you um, to really handle any any and all needs so you know for for everyone at PTC you know if anyone is interested in talking more um, come find me I'll be here all weekend and happy to chat more about what we do and yeah come find me Fantastic. <laughs> thank you so much Hannah for, it was really great this was our first chance chatting on mm -hmm. JSA TV first of many, I'm sure. <laughs> and first of many times we'll see you at a show. Such yeah, I hope PTC. I get invited back. <laughs> yeah, of course, of course. It's a yeah. pleasure, pleasure to chat with you. Mm -hmm. uh, so thank you. Thank, thank you, Barb. Yeah. And thank you to our viewers for tuning in today to JSA TV. Until next time, happy networking.